Cellulite is often categorised into three grades and often tested using this pinch test. Stage 1 would reveal no dimpling really to the pinch test, uh, but a mattress-like appearance. This appears to be stage 2 cellulite, dimpling appearing spontaneously when standing, but not necessarily when lying down. Stage 3 would be dimpling when standing and lying down. To treat cellulite using the shock wave, I'm going to use in this case a 20mm head. Actually you could use a 35mm or 30mm head, really the bigger the better. We're going for 1.6 bar, that's a commonly used setting in the literature. 4000 shocks will generally do the back of the thigh and we're going for 12 hertz. You're going to need plenty of ultrasound gel or oil to perform this treatment. You're going to be doing treatment over usually a fairly large area and the gel or oil will evaporate to some degree. So we put plenty of gel on here. Now we bring the 20mm, this is a deactor head on the Gymnashock Master 300 and spread the gel out a little bit before we start the first type of the treatment. There are many different ways in the literature to do treatment for cellulite and some pure research papers have used just spots which you'll see in a little while. This seems to be a popular method in the research papers where you actually go up and down the area that's affected, in this case the back of the thigh, using a radiator pattern. So you go up in a line, across, up in another line, down and repeat. When you've done the whole area as a radiator vertically, you do the same thing as a radiator horizontally across one way, across the other, and back. This method is very similar to a method used in massage therapy to treat cellulite. It's probably because it covers the whole area. I have noted when I've done cellulite treatment that if you use a spotting method you can often get a ridged appearance to the cellulite afterwards. There'll be areas you don't actually treat. This method seems to get you around that you want to work in a systematic way up and down the leg trying to cover the whole area. This is method number two where you run a series of shocks up the leg, stop, come back down to the bottom and run a next series of shocks up the leg, stop once again, come back down and keep sweeping up. It's commonplace in this method to see people using quite a bit of pressure on the thigh as they do this. Uh, I've never done cellulite treatment myself on the stomach. It's an area I wouldn't really want to do. Uh, but uh, certainly you'll see this method used on YouTube quite a lot. It seems to be popular, particularly in Southern Ireland for some reason. Maybe that one of the reps there has shown everybody to do it this way. It doesn't really appear in the literature anywhere. I've not seen a research paper where that method has been used, but it's certainly a common method uh, in practice. This is one of the most common methods you'll see actually in the literature. This is where you divide the area into spots. This is the method I'd had mo most success with. You divide the area into spots and then you treat each spot for um, one to two hundred shocks. Some research papers have used 100 shocks, some research papers have used 200 shocks. Personally, I like the 200 shocks. Uh, you don't have to use 1.6 bar to do this treatment. You could go down lower, as low as 1 bar, and you could go up much higher. Um, some of the research papers have suggested that going higher may well be just as effective. I don't know quite why you'd want to do that. Going higher would be more painful. I certainly wouldn't want to go too high on the frequency on the machine, but uh, 1.6 bar, 12 hertz, 10 hertz for about 4,000 shocks, in this case doing the shocks at 200 shock intervals, does seem to be effective actually for, shock, for cellulite, the shockwave does seem to break down the divisions underneath the skin.